Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. A lot of people ask me how to get a dent out of a brass instrument. That question is hard to answer because there are so many different types of dents. This video is going to be about the many different things that can cause dents to be different. In this video I'm not going to be removing any dents, so if you want to see me remove dents, look in the description below for links to those videos. I have come up with 12 different things that will affect a dent, and how you remove a dent depends upon these factors. And I have some of my very dented instruments here today to show you what those look like. Here are the 12 questions to ask yourself before you remove a dent. The first question is, what kind of metal am I working with? It could be brass, but there are other kinds of metal that instruments are made of. There's nickel silver and rose brass. There are also plated surfaces like silver plating, chrome plating, and a few others, and that will affect how you get the dents out too. Here's a bell with the brass and the nickel silver, so there are two different kinds of metal on this bell. The nickel silver tends to be a little bit harder than the brass, and this is a rose brass bell, and that tends to be softer than the brass. That brings us to our next question, how hard is the metal? You would think that over an instrument the metal would be about the same hardness because it's the same type of material, but it's not. There are several different hardnesses. The casings are fairly soft, and then the knuckles are very soft. Tuning slide tubes are harder, and then the lead pipe is about medium, and then the bell is several different hardnesses over the course of the bell. There are different places on the bell that are hard and different places that are soft. So you need to also know how hard the metal is before you get a dent out. The next question is how thick is the metal? Most places on a trumpet or cornet are going to be approximately the same thickness. Uh, the knuckles tend to be thinner. Casings are very thick. They're soft, but they're thick. On other brass instruments, there's going to be a lot of different thicknesses of the metal too. The next question, is the tubing straight or curved? This, of course, is a curved part of tubing, and then this is straight, and that's going to affect how you get the dent out, too. Straight mandrels are usually the easiest tool to get dents out with, but if you're going around a curve, the straight mandrels will not go around the curve, so you need other tools to get the dents out for those. The next question is, is the metal cylindrical or tapered? A lot of cornets and trumpets are tapered, but there are some places that are cylindrical, like the tuning slides. Usually the tuning slide crooks are also cylindrical. Lead pipes are tapered, then of course the casings are cylindrical. On the larger brass, like a tuba, most of the tubing is tapered, except for the tuning slide tubes, which are all cylindrical. The next question is, what is the diameter or the bore size of the tubing where the dent is? On like a trumpet or cornet lead pipe, it's going to be a very small diameter of tubing. And then, of course, it gets larger throughout there. How you get the dent out will be affected a lot if the bore is very small or if it's larger. How hard you can push on the metal is going to be affected greatly by the diameter of the tubing where the dent is that you are getting out. While I have this tuba, there's another question. Are there multiple layers of metal where the dent is? You see this very often on tubas. Where this ferrule is, this is often dented in. So this dent is going to be a lot harder to get out with the ferrule over the other tubing. So there are two layers of metal here that you need to contend with. And probably you're going to need to take this apart to get this dent out. Also, you can get a dent underneath the brace. A lot of times on tubas, the braces are pushed into the tubing. In that case, you will probably need to unsolder the brace, get the dent out, and then solder the brace back on. Also, another thing that's very common on tubas is getting dents underneath the bow guard. And if that happens, a lot of times you'll need to pull the bow guard off, get the dent out of the tubing and the bow guard, and then solder it back on. The next question is, are there cracks or holes in the tubing where the dent is? Sometimes metal gets very damaged where the dent is, so check for cracks or holes in the tubing, and then you'll also need to deal with those too. Look in the description below for a link to a video I did on a cornet that had a lot of cracks in the tubing where a dent was. The next question is, how deep is the dent? Some dents are shallow and they do not go very far into the tubing and a lot of times those are easy dents to get out. Other dents go very deep into the tubing and a lot of times those are harder to get out. Here's some tubing with a very deep dent in it. You can see that that dent goes a good part of the way through the tubing and that makes it hard to get out because it's hard to get a tool underneath it to push it out. How deep the dent is also makes a difference on how you get the dent out. The next question is, how sharp or how smooth is the dent? A smooth dent would be one like this. Smooth dents are shaped like this. 
They curve down and then they curve back up like that and they're fairly smooth. The sharp dents are ones that are shaped like a V. They go down and then there's an angle at the bottom and then they come up. Or the dent can be anywhere in between. Some dents are even sharp and smooth on the same dent. This tuba has a lot of dents that are fairly smooth, but if you look over here, there is a very sharp dent. It is shaped like a V and it has a crease in the bottom. So this dent will be removed a lot differently than you'll remove some of the dents that are right next to it. Next question is, is the metal creased? Here is a fairly sharp crease on a coronet and that's where the metal is bent up and then bends back down and these dents will be taken out a lot differently than any other dent. Last question is, is the dent over metal that moves? For example, a trombone hand slide. Here's a dent on metal that is supposed to move back and forth. Also, here's a dent on the tuning slide of a cornet. And this metal is supposed to slide in and out and it cannot do that because of this dent. So this dent does affect the playability of the instrument. And also there's a dent on a casing right there. And that dent does not look very big, but it will affect the performance of the instrument because the valve will not go up and down like it's supposed to. Because there are so many different variables, you can see that each dent is slightly different. This may sound a little overwhelming, but after you do dents for a while, you'll get the feel for it. If you have never done dent removal before, I suggest that you find a few junk instruments to practice on. Then after you get better at it, you can start working on your own instruments. I hope this video has been helpful. Look in the description below. There are links to several related videos. And please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.